Bare Naked Ladies touring across Canada, opening act, Tommy Swick. We got word that his bus broke down, so he wasn't going to make it to Soundcheck way up in uh, Prince George, BC. It was about a week later in the tour, and we got to know each other a little better, and Tommy finally says, okay, my bus didn't break down after the Vancouver show. And we're like, what? So he says, yeah, I, uh, after your show, you know, I had a bunch of friends there and stuff. I, maybe I drank a little too much after the show. We were supposed to leave at midnight. He steps off the bus to just get some fresh air. And uh, midnight rolls around. Tommy's not back on the bus. They're starting to worry about him. One o'clock, no Tommy. 8 a.m., Tommy wakes up in his bunk. But he's surrounded, covered in foam penises. He's like, has no idea what's going on. He walks to the front lounge of the bus and he sees the sheet in the front lounge of the bus that says, touring cast, Jesus Christ Superstar, day off Salt Lake City. So Tommy panics. He got on the wrong bus. He got off his bus, got on the bus with the touring cast of Jesus Christ Superstar and went to bed. Everyone's freaking out. He jumps off the bus thinking he's now in Salt Lake City, but they were supposed to be leaving that day. He grabbed the nearest person, a, a, he said, a kind of a small woman walking down the street in a business suit, and he said, what city am I in? And she said, Vancouver. And he said, oh my God, can I borrow your phone? And he called his tour manager, and they made it up in time for the show. I'm Ed Robertson, and that's my road story. It's kind of Tommy's road story.